good evening. We can all agree that personal image is important. By show of hands, how many of you have ever struggled to find a haircut or find somebody to do your nails? Anybody? A few people. All right, cool. So I want to share a similar story. So the Jones is here, recently relocated to Charlotte. And like most people, they connected with businesses such as Eat, Work, Play, Charlotte Agenda, Thumbtack, Yelp, for services such as fine dining, contractors, dating, finding places to go. However, when it came to the kid's haircut, the wife needing her nails done, the husband needing that back massage, it was difficult. Why is it so challenging? Now, I too actually moved to Charlotte uh, a little less than a year ago and um, went to about four barbers, spent countless hours in the shop because this guy didn't know me or let me see if I can squeeze you in, but it narrowed down to four things that most consumers have as a pain point that really gets under their skin, no pun intended. So multiple attempts to find the right business Referrals and reviews can often be biased, right? Loss of time and money during this time. And the most important of all, look around. Most consumers, there isn't a one-size-fits-all solution. So why should you search? So just think about that. Everybody's availability, their budget, their place that they have to drive is not the same. So why should we be able to tackle a simple Google search by just typing in, Hair salon. Doesn't work that way, right? So let's take a look at the competition. Most of us are familiar with Yelp. However, there are two companies that lead in this industry of beauty booking by the name of StyleSeat and Vagaro. All three offer a similar solution. Where do you live? Are you closed? Are you open? Those are the things you can find out. However, I wanted to take it a step deeper. And that's where I founded the company. This is a $50 billion industry. And most people want to find out, hey, how much does this place really cost? Or do they offer hot wax on my feet? Do they have a bar? Those are the things that really matter, right? And that's where Beautictionary was able to solve this problem. So let's walk through how this looks. Consumer, Mrs. Jones, goes to the website. She mentions hey, I need to find a haircut for my kids, I need to get makeup done for myself, and I also need to uh, get the back massage for my husband. And we're gonna ask some questions. We're not gonna ask where do you live, we're gonna ask how far are you willing to drive? How much are you willing to pay? And you know, when are you available? And then from there, we will provide the results needed for her to make an educated decision. So think about this. Most of us stroll into a hair salon. We're like, how many people are waiting? Most gentlemen know this issue. How many do you have in the chair? And it gets to be a hassle. But what if you can click here, book, we know that you're available at 6 p.m. on Thursdays, and it's settled. So just how big is this market? In Charlotte alone, as we've mentioned, it's a growing area. There's about 2.3 million people in the greater Charlotte area. If we can capture 5% of those folks that are going to book one to two appointments a month, be it hair, nail, a massage, eyebrow threading, whatever the case may be, we can book 225,000 appointments, all right? That gives us $450,000 in revenue. We'll find these folks by colleges, search engine optimization, new residents, and strategic marketing. Here's what it looks like from a revenue perspective. Add-ons and transaction fees, with the transaction fees being of the bulk of our business. So we've started in April. We have just about close to 100 businesses, 1,500 total users. And we expect by month 18, with proper execution, to be at $75,000 in monthly recurring revenue. So as I mentioned, we've had about 75% of our users visit the website again, which is great. Also, approximately 100 businesses just from me going and knocking on the door. 
while holding down a full-time job, which I think is pretty cool. So. Um, so if we can improve our efforts, we can really capitalize on a $50 billion market that is untapped. So who wants to help me in making consumer searches untangled? Thank you. Yeah, so we're going to have some uh, questions from our judges, please. Cool. Courtney, would you go over again um, how you're actually being compensated? Her transaction fees, but what? Certainly. What are you charging? Or, and is it the same thing for all the different services? Great question. So Mrs. Jones will go onto the website. She will book. We will receive a percentage of those transactions between 50 cents and $5. The average transaction will be about $2 per is how we received, reached our number of $450,000 in recurring revenue. Not to mention in add-ons, we will charge our lower volume consumers based on appointment booking software, which we have, as well as point of sale software to help them manage their day-to-day -day operations. So one of the things that came up for me is the loyalty factor in I saw that you know the other the competition they have a scheduling um, component sure. to it so talk a little bit about is are you going to be dependent on a hundred and fifteen thousand new clients using this on a rolling scale or do you have some component that would get a loyalty factor built in? That's a fantastic question. So we do all, we will be offering a membership re rewards program, which none of these businesses offer. So we understand that once you find them, you're hooked. You enjoy your services. But our goal is that you'll continue booking and we'll be on a sliding scale once you're a repeat customer and offer you a kickback, if you will, for your continuous booking but you'll have loyalty to the business as well as to us because our goal is to offer you every service that you need in personal care. What would you do if, if you're chosen to go forward, right? How would you use the time and the money associated with that to move the business forward? That's a great question as well. So here's the first thing. Um, we're looking to get, I guess, territory reps or account reps that will go in go door, march door to door as I have, and I'll teach them the sales cycle on how to capture businesses. And my goal is to pick up um, interns within colleges and um, assist them in teaching them the marketing process as well as sales because I really, really love to do that. And I've already been working with a company um, to develop the website that'll have a thumbtack type of feel to it. Uh, so that's where a lot of the funds will be allocated to, as well as um, we'll be going to businesses, or excuse me, apartment complexes to uh, scatter different marketing pieces um, throughout the city of Charlotte. Can you, can you tell us a little something about your team? Sure, that's a great question. And you're looking at the team right now? Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, it's a really good question, and it is a... Uh, <laughs> It is a, it is a, uh, a slight, it, um, I won't say obstacle, but I wanted to make sure that everything was buttoned up before I went out marching looking for other people to join the Army. Uh, so I've really been fine tuning my approach to make sure that it's at a point where when I'm bringing somebody on board, they're the right fit. I have found some people that's like, oh, that's a great idea, but um, three emails later, it takes me two weeks to hear back from them, and I know that that's not the, uh, the member of the team I need. So I've kind of been a ball hog, if you will, until uh, we found somebody to pass it to. Uh, I noted that both of your competitors have amenities that they offer in the mix of services. Can you talk about that a little bit? So and how, how that dif is differentiated from what you're providing? Sure, and I, I apologize. So when I mentioned amenities, it was more so along the lines of um, what the businesses that the customer seeks has to offer. Um, 
when you look at amenities from a uh, competitor perspective of Yelp, Style Seat, and Vagaro, you don't actually know what those businesses offer. Maybe they're pet friendly. Maybe they offer free wine on Thursdays at two o'clock. And maybe that interests you. So in that case, if you enjoy alcohol or you enjoy having your pets when you go and get things done, there's nobody doing that. And those are things that consumers value, which is going to bridge that gap. So you can almost look at it like a, like a dating site almost. What can you offer me? Here's what I have for you. Thank you. Thank you.